Israel's attack in central Beirut came the same day Israeli forces fired on United Nations peacekeepers' positions in southern Lebanon and wounded two of them. At the UN Security Council's briefing on October 10th, UN Under Secretary General for Peace Operations described the escalating conflict in southern Lebanon as increasingly alarming. In addition, the Israeli Defense Forces have also instructed the UN peacekeepers to remain in protected areas. Here's a report. A UN peacekeeping mission in Lebanon says Israeli forces fired on its positions on Wednesday and Thursday. The United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, or UNIFIL, says two of its peacekeepers were injured when an Israeli tank fired at its main headquarters in Nakura. Israel has been pursuing a widening offensive against Hezbollah in that area. A UN source said there were no casualties in two other incidents. UNIFIL spokesperson Andrea Tenenti. This is uh, highly concerning, uh, not only because uh, peacekeepers are there, but because uh, uh, this was done by, uh, you know, most probably a deliberate attack against uh, our troops. Uh, which is a, a, a violation or, or a grave uh, uh, violation of uh, international uh, humanitarian law. Italy has protested to Israel over the incident. Its defense minister called it illegal and a possible war crime. We asked for the reason why these shots were fired and we expected to know them officially. The ambassador was not able to provide us with explanations. Israel has warned Lebanese civilians not to return to homes in the south as it presses on with its assault. On Thursday night, Israeli strikes on central Beirut killed several people and wounded dozens of others, Lebanon's health ministry said. A security source said at least one senior Hezbollah figure was targeted in the attacks.